guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my best and worst NYX products. And I was trying to figure out what to film today and then I used the NYX product and I was like, oh yeah, I meant a, a, so long ago, like I meant to film a video about NYX products I completely forgot about it and it just like jolted my memory and I was like, no. So that's what we're filming today. Also, if you haven't heard the word, I'm giving away two MacBook Pros. <laughs> One I'm going to be giving away to someone who subscribed on my channel, so all you have to do is subscribe to my channel. And the other one I'm giving it away to someone subscribed to my vlog channel, which is the Laura Lee Vlog. So be sure to subscribe to both of my channels, and you are entered to win one of two MacBooks. What? Those are heavier than they look. It ends March 15th. March 15th it ends, um, and I'll be announcing the winner in another video. So anyways, we're going to jump right in and get started. We're going to talk about some NYX products. And I hope you're ready. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do in this video is go back and forth. One product I love, one product I don't love so much, you know, to keep the video interesting. First, you know, I think it would be good to start. Let me start with something I love. And I actually have been loving the Total Control NYX foundation. Now I only like to wear this on days where I don't want full coverage. I because I don't personally like to build it up that much. I feel like, I don't know, I'm like dripping so much product and like trying to like work it in and build it up and it's just too much work for what it's worth. So I just really like to stick to this foundation whenever I like a light to medium coverage thing going on there with my skin, but I like the way it sits on my skin. I like applying it to my skin. All that zhuzh is good with it and I really like the brush, I like using the brush with it. I do recommend getting the brush with it. It's a good comparison and really helps you apply the product because it's so liquidy. The little divot in the brush just makes it perfect for application. I have a full review on this if you haven't seen it. Check, Check it, it out, out on my channel today. Check it out on my channel today. I need to calm down. All right, so let's talk about a product I don't like and it just happens to be on my eyes. <laughs> so I did this eye look because I wanted to do something different for once and like switch it up a little. So I did white eyeliner and I love NYX eyeliners, but their colored liners are so inconsistent and patchy and they dry out so quickly and express, especially, especially the vivid brights are so cracky. When these first came out, I tried to do this cool like ombre fading liner and I was getting it right, but every time the liner would dry, it would just start dispersing and cracking and looking crazy. And I saw these cool Instagram pictures with people doing cool looks with these. And I'm like, how? Because mine's got cracks all in it. Like, I don't understand. As soon as it dry, it would just, like, bust into cracks. So I tried this one today to do the white liner. looks forgetting that that happens with these. And I immediately was like, dear God, here we go. Hey. There's no telling where that landed. So then I just ended up using, which these are better, the NYX. Um, I use actually two things. Where's the other one at? I can't find it, but I ended up using the NYX, the pen, which these are really good, which we can go ahead and jump into products I do like. I like the liner pens. These are really good, and I used the Too Faced little liner thing to go over the top so it would get really even because... Girl, just while I'm talking about liners, one of my favorite liners on the market happens to be the NYX. This is the all black. This is the skinny mascara. So this is something different. It's, I don't know, I, I guess whenever they put the color formula into the liquid, it just starts dispersing because I never had that problem with the black. This is a super easy product to apply. It doesn't, this is not it. This is a skinny mascara. Guys, it has been a long day, forgive me. Okay, I can't find it now. Great, but it is the NYX, it's a skinny matte black liner. I do love that. I think it's great, and then some of the liners are just poopy for me. So anyways, onto a product that I don't like is the new Away We Glow Liquid Highlighters. I think that they move around your foundation and product way too much for what it's worth because you barely get any highlight out, of, highlight out of it. Now, if you're all there for a subtle highlight, you might like these better, but just a warning, I just find that once you blend them out, like they move, they pick up your foundation and move it around and then it didn't really show up in pictures. It was like barely a glow. I mean, I guess it's like a really pretty subtle glow, but really it was barely there for me and it was just way more trouble than what it was worth trying to get all this blended out for barely a glow. You know what I mean? So I'm not a big fan of these, but I do, what I do like better. Well, let me get a breath. 
But what I do actually like is the Bright Ideal. This is the Luminizing Stick and I find that it doesn't move around your makeup as much and you get way more of a highlight. Now they have a few different shades in these but they just almost blend out into a powder rather than being super creamy. And this will give you like a bronzy glow. Like I said they have different colors in them and they're just so pretty and I feel like you get more, of, more color, more highlight out of these. So these are a really nice product from NYX. Now something else that didn't work out for me. We're going to talk about some of these. So I actually love the NYX Ombre blushes, but this color didn't work out for me and it kind of made me look, I got, look like I got punched in the face. Um, it is this shade right cheer. The shade just, it was pure orange. And then I guess lo looking like I got punched in the face isn't a good term to use, but it almost, it just was... It really made me look like I had rubbed dirt on my face. This one was a little bit patchy on me and not only that, it was just a terrible blush shade. So this is new to me. I almost think it would look better as a bronzer, but still it's just got too much orange in it to be a bronzer. So I really couldn't stand this one and then the shimmer in it just like made the patchiness so much worse than what it was. So I actually hated that one. But one that I love is called Strictly Chic. So pretty, just a gorgeous peach color, and I find that this one has like less that shimmer and it's a little more matte, so it seems like it wants to blend out way easier on the skin. Um, I don't really tap into the highlighting much because I find that it just kind of makes them patchy, but I mean, I in general love these blushes. Just also another powder product I love from NYX is the Matte Bronzer. It's so green, and just to like let you know a little bit goes a long way. Like these are very pigmented. They're not so compacted where you can get any product, where you can't get any product out, which I've had trouble with that in the past. This is an all around really great drugstore bronzer and I highly recommend it to you guys. And then this is just another pretty mauve purpley blush from them that I like a lot. This one's called Mauve Me and I actually think this one will be a very pretty eyeshadow as well. It's purpley but like on my skin tone it comes off as more of a mauve like a deeper pink color. That is disgusting. Literally you guys are probably staring at my hand saying what's going on there. So I actually burned my hand so bad or my arm. I was getting a pizza out of the oven and like the tray slipped off the little pot holders and it landed right on my arm. Like my arm caught it and oh girl that's nasty. So we'll just. And then another product I really love for NYX are their NYX lingeries. Are their NYX lingeries. These are the best. They're not too drying, but I do recommend like after a couple hours wearing them to maybe touch them up because they're so hard to get off the lips. It's almost unreal. This kind of love-hate thing with these. I love them though, for real. They dry down completely mad and, and I think that they're so pretty. Um, they just get almost a little bit goopy because they don't want to come off your lips so you have to touch them up. But other than that, they're fabulous. This is my favorite color in it at all. It's called Satin Ribbon. These are always sold out. So if you can get your hands on them, definitely take the time to grab one because you will need it in your life. So luckily there are more products that I love than I hate from NYX. So I have another love. <laughs> I love this palette so much. I think it's Seriously, one of the prettiest palettes that NYX, NYX has made. This is the Avant Pop palette. And I've dabbled in a lot of colors. And I've actually used this in quite a few drugstore tutorials on my channel. I think this quality of these eyeshadows are of a high-end quality. And even the shimmers and the mattes are just equal quality. They're so pretty. And they blend out seamlessly. And I love the arrangement of colors. Maybe I wish there were a few more browns in it. But still, like you can get so many good looks out of this palette. And the pans are big in them, so you get your money's worth. This is a great eyeshadow palette, and I highly recommend it to you guys. And one last thing I don't like, which, like I'm so scatterbrained today, guys. I'm so sorry. The reason I had this up here on my desk and I was holding up the wrong product is because I was going to mention it as a dislike. It is this little skinny mascara, and they have like, it's like a dupe for the higher end brand ones that's supposed to tight line. But in my opinion, these are just so gimmicky, like... Literally, if you just wiggle your mascara wand, you get the same result as tight lining with some little wand that looks like this. It's just like another step to add in your makeup routine. And I personally have tried several of these out and I don't care for any of them, nor do I care for this one. Um, Like I said, I just feel like wiggling your mascara wand, you can get at the base of your lashes without having to apply three different mascaras to like 
get the complete look, you know? It's just a little gimmicky and a waste of time for me, so I'm not about it. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and being here. You know I love you guys so, so much. And comment down below your favorite product from NYX or maybe a product that didn't work out for me from NYX, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye!